Howdy hey! It's Tuned In! I'm Josh the Fox Mills, and I review cartoons. No matter how new, no matter how old, no matter the cost. Well, it's the end of another month, and that means it's once again Anime Week! This time I wanted to take a look at an anime almost everybody knows, or should, if they're a fan of anime. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the star player in my Anime Week title sequence, Sailor Moon. What's the matter with the clothes you're wearing? Can't you tell that it's super cute? The way you're beating up all the bad guys wearing ribbons and a sailor suit. Japan has to offer unique animation. It's going to get reviewed by this fat Caucasian. Those tunes, new or old, even if it's trash or gold, it's still animate. Written and created by Nawako Takauchi, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon was a manga in 1991, adapted as an animated series just one year later. The show originally ran for five seasons in Japan, from 1992 to 1997 and included 200 episodes, three feature films, four short films, and a television special. This is an anime with worldwide influence, and is practically a household name. Anyone even claiming to be a fan of anime at least has heard of Sailor Moon. There is a dramatic difference between the English dub and the Japanese original version. These differences are so large that the early internet probably aided in the show's popularity with discussions about the differences, according to some experts anyway. The show made popular and practically defined the magical girl genre of cartoons. The main character, Serena, or Usagi in Japan, which by the way means bunny, is a high school girl who finds out she has magical powers after she meets a talking cat named Luna. With her powers unlocked, she became the super heroine Sailor Moon. Whoa! With that outfit, she was almost Sailor Full Moon, if you know what I mean. I'm kidding. But seriously, if you think she's hot, she's 14. And if you still think she's hot, you're either also 14, in a country where that doesn't matter, or there's something seriously wrong with you. Actually, she's only 14 for a short time, as the characters age naturally with the series. By the final story arc, she was 18 years old. Soon other girls around town also awaken to their powers and become friends and allies. In Japan, the girls were called Sailor Guardians or Sailor Soldiers, but over here in the English dub, they are referred to simply as Sailor Scouts. Wait, they're Scouts? Then let's see them rub two sticks together! Each Sailor Scout seemed to have powers tied to an element. Sailor Mars was fire. Sailor Mercury was water. Sailor Jupiter had power over electricity and plants. Sailor Moon had light. And Sailor Venus's power was love and beauty? Not really an element, but okay. Maybe that counts as wind, I don't know. The English theme was flattering and catchy, but at times a little inaccurate. For example, claiming she never runs from a real fight, yet she ran often. Apparently those weren't real fights. Cartoon icon by all rights. Inspiring naughty thoughts all night. Wearing outfits that are too tight. She is the one named Sailor Moon. I kid, of course. The Sailor Scout uniform is basically a one-piece swimsuit and covered in ribbons and a skirt. Really not all that revealing, all things considered. Serena spends most of the series fawning over a fellow classmate named Darian, who seems to ignore her, mostly because he finds her annoying. But Darian has a secret of his own, because he is also secretly a superhero, the dashing Tuxedo Mask. Each season was broken up into a story arc, with five plots in total. The first adventure involved an invading army from the Negaverse, or Dark Kingdom in Japan, which was a much better name, honestly. Said army tries to find a relic called the Silver Crystal in order to free a being known as Queen Mataria. 
In the first arc, the scouts discovered they were members of an ancient moon kingdom called the Silver Millennium. Its ruler, Queen Serenity, sent her daughter, Princess Serenity. Her protectors, the Sailor Scouts, their feline advisors, Luna and Artemis, and the princess's true love, Prince Endymion, into the future, to be reborn through the power of the Silver Crystal. Serenity and Endymion were reborn as Serena and Darian. Well, this is getting complicated, but it's anime, so that's kind of normal. The second arc involves time travel. This time, Serena and Darian's daughter from the future comes back to find the Silver Crystal, and is pursued by a clan of villains from the planet Nemesis, the evil tenth planet in our solar system. Ultimately, their goal was to destroy all of time. Don't they mean the sinister ninth planet in our solar system, since Pluto isn't a planet anymore, or something? Anyway, remember what I said about things getting complicated? You know, there didn't seem to be a Sailor Earth, but apparently Darian was also a Prince of Earth, so I guess he's Sailor Earth then? Without spoiling much more, the third arc involved created beings attempting to merge the planet with an alien god. The fourth arc involved political upheaval and a military invasion from the so-called true ruler of Silver Millennium and Earth. Lastly, our final arc had our heroes face a team of fake Sailor Scouts for the Sailor Crystals to defeat a being named Chaos. After Serena beats the evil Scouts and becomes Sailor Cosmos, she destroys Chaos, revives all her friends, and the series ends with Serena and Darian's wedding six years later. There is a lot more I could discuss about this series, like the death-dealing Sailor Saturn, the guardian of time Sailor Pluto, or the lesbian relationship between Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus. But that's a can of worms I'd rather not open. Needless to say, Sailor Moon became an icon of not only anime history, but feminism and female empowerment as well. The plucky Sailor Scout almost practically defines girl power. And I think that's all I have to say, or all I choose to say, about Sailor Moon. Well, except for what's coming next. So it's time for my final thoughts. What does the fuck say? I remember this series and I loved it. Granted, I don't remember it well, and I didn't get far into the second arc but I can see that the classic Sailor Moon still holds up after all these years. I definitely suggest checking it out. A new rebooted series of Sailor Moon is currently airing in Japan. Is it better or worse than the original? I don't really know yet. But I'm sure I will review it once it reaches the end of its run. Man, all this girl power and female empowerment has got me all inspired to do something special. Next week, I'm going to begin my first installment of Girl Month. Until then, this is Josh the Fox Mills saying, stay tuned!